I am your host, Nav Green. Man, it's a blessing to be back, man. Uh, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Let's, let, let's get into it. it, it let's get into these comments, first of all. Uh, we'll get into how we did last week uh, later. Because that's not that's a low light. We need to put us with the low lights. <laughs> we did horrible. Uh, we got a few comments. I'm gonna read a few. We ain't, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna you know keep this long. I like this one. This shit is like Stuart Scott meets Snow in the Bluff. Mm. We need more. Mm. I like how you bring them two yeah, worlds together. I like that. Yeah. Oh man. Lil C 1995 says, "Get me a job on this set, man. Where can I send my resume, Nav?" This is my favorite sports show, hands down. Let me stop right there. Four weeks in, this is favorite sports show. Imagine what he gonna say after this week. Period. Also, on the description, y'all misspelled Michael Jordan. Can't do that, man, like that. <laughs> nigga, this is not Michael Jordan. <laughs> Tyler said this the nigga who be chasing Lil Meech them in uh, BML. <laughs> what that detective name? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. I don't know who that is. That nigga ain't even got on joints. That nigga got on some felines. We just keeping it in the budget though. Oh man, Curtis Parker. No, you didn't say that. He said we gonna wake up one day and now gonna fuck around and be on ESPN. Keep going now. See, that's what you're fucking up at. ESPN ain't gonna let me do what I'm doing right now. So that's why this shit stand on. Channel 85 out, yes, nigga. Yeah. Yes, sir. But I will come and do some guest correspondence with ESPN because I know they already stealing my shit. And we ain't going to get into that. But speaking of getting into that, Doc Rivers done got his ass fired. So he might need to be on ESPN. Man, let me say this real quick. Whoever said Doc Rivers was a great coach, what made you believe it? What has Doc Rivers did in the league, honestly, Marcel? He won one ring with, with the big three. You was one out of two. They only, with that, he never, he never did nothing. Clippers I, never won anything. I agree. Um, I, I saw this coming. Doc is ranked top 15 coaches of all time when they did the 75-year uh, uh, season. I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't believe it. Um, Doc. He needed to be gone, especially after losing, being up 3-2 again and losing the league. Bro, and I'm not just going to blame now with, with this. I don't think Doc Rivers is a great coach. He's a cool coach. Like, he, he's cool. <laughs> but that wasn't his fault in Philly. And I'm going to tell you why. Embiid, I saw your press conference. To say you and Harden can't do it by y'all. You nigga, yes the fuck you can. You just won the MVP. You supposed to do it by yourself. People be getting it twisted. When you are getting superstar money, franchise player money, in game sevens, you supposed to do what Tatum did. Exactly. You can say what all you want to say about Tatum them first six games. Game seven, the game on the line, what Tatum do? 51 points. I can't say nothing about you. And B, if you would have had 52, nigga, y'all would have won. But you ain't got that mentality. And you just got another black man fired. Bastard. My bad, I had to get that off. Get that off. Man, what are you waiting for? Prize picks. All first time users that deposit and use this promo code will receive 100% instant. Deposit match up to $100. If you put down $60, you're going to get $60. But you could go up to $100 and get $100 free dollars. So that's a total of $200 you got to win some money. Man, y'all playing. It's almost the NBA playoffs almost over. It's available in over 30 states. What are you waiting for? Go ahead over there to Prize Picks right now. You know why they call it Prize Picks? Because if you pick the right things, you get a prize. Tell a broken play sent you. Download Prize Picks. Use our promo code, Broken Play. And when you sign up, they're going to match the money. It don't get no easier than that. Then when you come back, I'm going to throw you some picks that I know are legit, and they're going to hit. You got the Celtics playing the Heat. You got the Lakers playing Denver. 
Plenty matchups, plenty locks. Go get LeBron. Go get Anthony Davis with the rebounds. Jimmy Butler with the points or the steals. Jason Tatum with the points. Jalen Brown with the points, rebounds, and assists. Them just some I'm throwing off the top of the head. What you waiting for? Broken play is the promo code. Let's get it. I'm going to tell you who not getting fired. Darvin Ham. Because <laughs> LeBron stepped up. Anthony Davis stepped up. Hey, Austin Reeves, you can say it again. I'm him. <laughs> you was him. I can't even hate on you, bro. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lonnie Walker is a dog. Lonnie Walker is a dog. Man, I think the Lakers are just clicking on all cylinders. Then we're going to be a tough matchup. But I think Jokic is going to stay in foul trouble. Uh, on Anthony Davis? You yes. think so? That Jessica. slow bastard can't keep up with Anthony Davis? Man, all the Lakers got to do is run. Jokic going to be tired. I, I know Jokic drink beer. <laughs> I know that type of body built. That's how me and my uncles, all my uncles, they tall, they tall though. But all us built like, I'm just short and stout. <laughs> when you drink beer... You're going to be built like Jokic. But Jokic just know how to play with it. Just like Chris Brown. Excellent entertainer, right? Hands down, one of the best. Yes. How many people you know could dance and sing that smoke Newports? Not as good as him? Nope. Just like Jokic drinking beer. Everybody just could, everybody know how to balance it in their nutrition diet. And Jokic done mastered it. But... I got the Lakers winning this series because I just feel like LeBron just on a mission, bro. Ever since T.I. sat in that chair <laughs> and yeah. said LeBron kicked it in bank head, it triggered him back. I know it did. I'm tripping. How? <laughs> oh, he right. See, Marco gets it. Because you got to think about it. If somebody, I know what happened. Rich Paul showed him the clip. LeBron watched the phone like this. He said, I, he said this L.A. shit man, got me out of my ways. I got to get back to doing it for them niggas in the hood. <laughs> and he turned that shit on. You ain't see how he was looking at Curry after he do some shit? Like, yeah. He back in that mode. <laughs> Speaking of back in that mode. John motherfucking Moran. <laughs> I told you. I told you what he listened to. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna stay on this topic long. I don't need to. Cause I think he watched my show and be like, oh gee, you right. <laughs> I talked about how little his gun was. That's when Drewski sat down. George Foster, he said, oh, he ain't talking about how to scrap. All right, back. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Come with something bigger. Pause. <laughs> Now, that shit he had in that last video, oh, that'll knock your ass on your yeah. ass. <laughs> yeah, that was not no track me gun. I guess this the warning, and this that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess it's two. But they talking about he should be suspended. How John Moran is dancing and moving, are we sure it's even a clip full of bullets in that gun? That shit might be on safety. And it might be no bullets in there. Secondly, maybe John Morant don't want to play ball no more. Maybe the nigga want to go to the army. We what? don't know. Then <laughs> why I need to get him on the show and ask him, what you want to do? Because look, he probably was so good in basketball that dad was like, nigga, you ain't sitting down with no recruiter. But he wanted to go to the army so bad. He wanted to fight for the country. <laughs> His daddy took that away from him. <laughs> now he listening to that NBA young boy. He just think about it. He's supposed to be in Iraq with that shit on him. <laughs> so when the season over, he goes straight down range. He probably patrolling the city. Who knows what he's doing? It's a parade in the city. It's a parade in my city. <laughs> hey, how he be standing on top of them cars, it really is. <laughs> 
The end result for who? John Morant. Honestly, <laughs> they gonna have to suspend him just because they gotta suspend him. I, I wanna ask John Morant, nigga, was you supposed to be on your fenster? Cause you know niggas got fensters. Women got fensters. If you own your fenster, you cool. But I think John ja Morant so damn slow. His fenster might be John ja Morant fenster. That that nigga <laughs> might be just telling on his damn self. Cause I can't even say, man, leave a black man alone. Stop snitch, nigga. It's you. No, listen, Thad. <laughs> his his friend is to blame too. But nigga, if you just got caught, <laughs> if you just got caught. We ain't even supposed to have no phones in the car. Cause we, I know how you is, y'all. Nigga, I don't want nobody around your camp with a damn smartphone. Everybody need to have flip phones. Y'all <laughs> niggas don't know what to do. Bruh, if anybody young boy music make you drive around and dance with a gun, I don't want to listen to that shit. Because it's too much traffic in Atlanta. <laughs> you fuck around and dance and your ass spit out. That nigga ain't what he don't realize. His fucking car insurance is about to go up. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> nigga, they done caught you dancing with a gun, not both hands on the steering wheel. Oh, State Farm finna fuck you up, boy. <laughs> you can forget it. Adrian Bronner returns to the ring with Don King. First and foremost, I didn't know Don King was still alive. <laughs> I did not know that. That's not no joke. That's not, I did not. Yeah. So I'm going to just say, OG, I'm glad you still ticking. As far as you working with Adrian Bronner, nigga, this must be your last mission. <laughs> you, you must be giving us a sign, nigga. <laughs> you finna clock out. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. This why this shit would never be on ESPN and I'm cool with it. <laughs> I'm saying the shit Mel Kuyper want to say. <laughs> Let me just skip that because I, I don't see me saying nothing positive out of that shit. Adrian Bronner? Hmm. Who he going to fight? I have no idea. Him and Tank in two different weight classes, ain't it? Yeah. Billy Hutchinson is his fight. Billy Hutchinson? Yeah. That's a white boy, right? Uh, so, gotta yeah, be. It sounds like it. Yeah, correct. You're yeah, right. Billy and Hutchinson, that gotta be. If he don't beat Billy Hutchinson, he'll never, never, never get, get talked about on this show again. All right, we got the NBA. Uh, oh, it's like a rematch with the NBA bubble because we got Miami Heat against the Celtics. Now, you remember I said Miami Heat has no chance. I take that back. Because <laughs> Jimmy Butler is a different motherfucker, yes. bro. Jimmy Butler is different. So I'm not going to count him out. But Jalen Brown is from where? Atlanta. Atlanta. And that's going to be the difference. I don't know what it is. It's just when, when niggas watch this show and they know they from Atlanta, they don't want to get talked about. <laughs> Bro, New York. Jalen Brunson, hell of a player. Julius Randle, garbage bastard. <laughs> You see the like? Did Dallas mess up with that? Yes. Of course. Yes. Of course. How you let this man go like that? Shout out to Prize Picks. I ain't even. We ain't even got to the Prize Picks section yet. But I chose Jalen Brunson for two and a half threes in that last game. The nigga had four in the first quarter. No cap. No cap. NBA draft lottery coming up. It don't matter who get the first pick. I think it's between the Rockets, the Spurs, and the Pistons. Yeah, they all got the same percentage, 14% to get a uh, number one pick. Out of those teams, the best team that um, Victor might want to go to is the Rockets. Houston got a nice young team. They do. And then... A good coach, a good young coach, too. Who the coach? Udoka. Oh, yeah. He is out there now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, when your coach fucking hoes, 
You want to go play for him. Because coach ain't going to trip on you. Why you late to practice? Coach, I had this little bad little bit. Oh, nigga, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I got it. like, put me on. Yeah, nigga, she ain't got no sister. Nigga, you tripping on coach. Nigga, she ain't got no auntie. <laughs> so it's cool. And Houston is a fun city. We done been to Houston. Dallas fun, too. And that ain't too far from Houston if you watching the show, Victor. But Detroit, Detroit get cold. We heard what Josh Smith said. He ain't even want to go to practice sometimes. It be so damn cold. And San Antonio... Let's not. We ain't got to be disrespectful. I feel like San Antonio gonna be get the pick, man. You think San Antonio? I think, I think San Antonio. Hey, gonna Coach get the pick. Pop is not gonna lay down. Right. I thought he'll retire by now. So yeah, that's 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 the world of sports right now. I think it's coming down to the end. Everybody who picked the Phoenix Suns, we was talking about Devin Booker. He ain't show up that last game. He ain't show up every game except for that one, man. Every game except that one. That's why people don't understand them closeout games. That's what make you that player. That's what make you that player. I was in Milwaukee uh, this last weekend. I had the chance to run into Aaron Jones. Bro, you know how you be seeing those players? Like, and you see them, you don't realize how. Like, normal football players be. Like, you know, like, size-wise type shit. Like, Aaron Jones, when in his pads, he running motherfuckers over. Yeah, brawling. I saw him in person. I was like, man, I'll tackle the shit. <laughs> I didn't tell him that. Because, you know, people be competitive shit. I got my pads in the car. <laughs> then now the shit all on the line. And now niggas trying to get me to sign to the Falcon. That's why I just stay in my lane. <laughs> For real, Thato. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when we come back, we got some highlights. And we got a whole lot of low lights. And when I say a whole lot of low light, oh, before I get in there, somebody had wrote in the comments and said, we got to start talking about baseball. And I looked, I pulled up baseball clips, because I don't watch baseball until it get close to the, you know, the yeah, October yeah, yeah, playoffs. Yeah. Around September when they race for the NL East division, all that, that's when it get fun and good. After Way after uh, All-Star. Bro, it's an Oakland A's reporter said he just went to the nigger museum. And he called himself. He said he meant to say Negro Museum. Nigga, it's the same shit. If you over 60 years old and you say Negro, that's <laughs> nigger. Because you could have said the Black Museum. But this is what people, his apology was even worse. What did he say, Marco? We got to run the clip while it is going. We had a phenomenal day today. Nigger League Museum and Arthur Bryant's Barbecue. Oh. Welcome back to Coppin Stadium. I just wanted to, a little bit earlier in the show, I said something didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to. Um, and I just wanted to apologize if, if, it, uh, if it sounded different than I meant it to be said. And... Said, I just wanted to apologize for that. I uh, might have said something that might not sit well with a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> that, that nigga came back even more racist. That might not sit well with a lot of people. Nigga, what people? <laughs> 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 nigga, only blacks? <laughs> Bruh, see, this why they don't be realizing blacks watch baseball this early. <laughs> Cause somebody probably had to run it up. Hey, hey, we got a couple blacks. They watching the show. He like, oh shit, I gotta apologize. <laughs> Just like hockey. Somebody, that's why I love the Broken Play show. Cause we can learn here, Yvette. Somebody wrote in the comments, hockey was created by black people. I did not know that. Yes, you can yeah. look that up and fact check it. Hockey was made by, you knew that? How long you knew this, Debo? For a while. So when we was talking about hockey, huh? Oh, the Stanley? Is named? No, nigga, that's somebody's last name. What's his name? I don't know his name. I mean, I learned this a long time ago. So look, if you watching Broken Play, then we're going to start keeping learning facts to the side. Hockey was made... In 1895, they formed a colored hockey league 
of the go that word. Maritimes, the world's Color first hockey. all black ice hockey league. This was before the white hockey? Yeah. 1895. Yeah. But when did white hockey start? Let me Google, let me Google that. <laughs> Cause ain't no ain't a nigga in sight around it, bitch. Shit, probably when football started. Nigga like, bro, I ain't finna be doing all this skate. I could shake the shit out of nigga without these skates. Nigga just left that hockey shit alone. We'll find out. That's what Marcel here for. We'll be back with some highlights and some lowlights. Tune in. Keep tuning in. Broken play is on the way. They say we need music. I'm just gonna come up with it myself. Back, 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 back to broken play. Let's get into these highlights. We talked about it a little early. Jason Tatum, 51 points in a closeout game. In Boston, you're going against the MVP and you drop 51. That's a highlight. Highest ever in playoff game seven history. You just hit me with, I thought you told me Curry. No, 51 points is the highest ever. In, in what Curry had that week? He didn't have 51. In the game seven? He yes, he did. He had 50. He beat Curry by one point. Wait, and that was in the game seven? Yeah, because you remember him against the Kings. You had just told me. So look, before game seven, everybody was just saying, "Is this is Jalen Brown team. Well, I don't know who was saying it, but I said it. I know I said it. Because I've been on Jalen Brown, the Jalen Brown bandwagon train. But for Tatum to step up and drop 51 in game seven, that stopped all doubts. Game six, he had three points going into the fourth quarter and scored 16 in the fourth quarter. So the last six, the last five quarters, he scored 67 points. Well, we ain't finna put games together. That's what we're not going to do. We're going to get a nigga to 51 in game seven and let him have that. Because if he would have been playing like he was supposed to have been playing, they damn near could have lost game six. Philly lost it. Hey, I'm going to tell you a highlight, even though they lost. P.J. Tucker. Now, it might sound crazy, but P.J. Tucker scored 11 points. P.J. Tucker don't usually do that. P.J. Tucker came out the ball, and then P. still... Didn't give you nothing. So that's just crazy. We talked about Jalen Brunson. Even though his team lost, he was a highlight. Jalen Brunson was a highlight. Just not in the game for prize picks, too. You know Tatum crushed any prize picks stats that he had to cover. Now, this what, is this what I'm, I'm scared about. I'm going to give Anthony Davis a highlight. But now this one it counts. You're going against a premier big man. You did that against Looney. I expected you to do that. Show me what you're going to do against Jokic. Let's get into some low lights. I've been waiting for this. The Andre Dam Ace. Bro, did you see the clip where Kevin Durant and Devin Booker was cussing him out? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, he on the sideline. They like, just run. And you know where that come from? Him dancing, want to play all the damn time. <laughs> this the playoffs. There's no reason. Now, Devin Booker. Devin Booker and Kevin Durant, they faced a problem we knew they was going to face, Marcel. They had no bench. Bench. They had no other players. But other than that, I don't see nobody getting the ring this year except LeBron. And that's going to be the highlight. So it's a lock. Lakers is a lock to win it all, you're saying right now. This is what I'm just saying. If the team is playing, I must say this. If Anthony Davis stay healthy, we need Anthony Davis to stay healthy. If Anthony Davis stay healthy, the boy getting five rings. Hey, Tristan Thompson is not getting no playing time. He shouldn't get any playing time. Why they picked him up? Because it's LeBron's boy. 
He was supporting Braun during the whole thing. Like, get the band back together when, you know, when Kyrie was going through his stuff and they were th- talking about trading Kyrie. He's like, yo, bring Kyrie to L.A., bring me back, what's up? You know, so they just brought him back. You know, he's a good morale guy, you know, good pom-pom guy. So we're going to put him with the highlights. Low lights. We already done talked about Joel and B. We ain't got to say too much about that. Is James Harden as much of a low light than Embiid? Because James Harden gave you two or three great games that you didn't expect from him. So I can't really consider him a low light like I do Joel Embiid. When you need him the most, man. Game seven, you got to... Marcel. He had nine points, bro. Marcel, if you expecting James Harden in game seven, you is a low light. <laughs> Doc Rivers was over there looking sad when James Harden making turnover. Bro, Tyrese Maxey, they got to figure out how to get him more involved. You know what clip keep coming up? Jimmy Butler saying, they chose Tobias Harris over me? Imagine Jimmy Butler with Embiid. I can't say Harden because he would have been done ran up in Harden shit. One thing about Jimmy, Jimmy don't let you goddamn slack on his team. Yeah, facts. But I'm going to blame this last person for Philly loss. If little baby could have found his way <laughs> to... Because I don't know, James Harden play good when he see little baby front row. It's like, it's like a child when they see their daddy that done got off work early. James Harden was balling, but he was doing okay. He looked and seen little baby smiling. He turned the fuck up. <laughs> Soon as he got to the locker room, I have insight analysis. Everybody was trying to interview James Harden. He on the phone. They heard little baby voice. He said, where were you? <laughs> That's why he got nine points. His favorite person in the world wasn't at the game. That matters. That matters. I remember my seventh grade football game. My dad came to the game. I had two sacks. I ain't did shit all season. <laughs> My coach said, Green, where is this coming from? My dad told me before he got there, if you don't do shit, I'm not coming to another game. That's all these players need to hear. James Harden didn't have nobody that with him. I don't saw him beat parents. Yeah, the MVP trophy. Yeah, they, when they gave him MVP yeah. trophy. I don't be seeing nobody for hard. It's hard It's hard to play, bro. You ain't got nobody out there supporting you. So, hard. I'm not going to put you as a low light, bro. And, and get well, bro. I love blue chew. Yes, I do. I love blue chew. So should you. If you use the promo code. Man. I don't know who all watching this show, but I really can't put the, all y'all into my business. But my phone been ringing nonstop. And I got to thank Bluetooth for that. Guess what they calling me? Hey, Terminator, watch out. <laughs> don't tell them the secret, fellas. Bluetooth.com, I'm telling y'all. Get on there. Get on there. Use the promo code. 85 Sports. We trying to help you. I would hate for y'all to lose the love of your life. So bluechew.com, tighten up. It's nothing else to say. It is nothing else to say. I love blue chew. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Go blue! Who's going to be their head coach now that Doc gone, you think? It don't matter. <laughs> Bro. It's certain teams. It's it's not the coaching. A team like that, that's not they. That's that's not their problem. But I don't like now. Doc Rivers, I can understand it, cause you can't get them over the hump. But Monty Williams and Phoenix shouldn't be fired. Yeah, most winningest coach in the past three years. Bro, and you broke the man team up. Yeah. But they said Kevin Durant don't like him. Really. That's what the. That's what. See me. 
I didn't hear that. I got to wait till Kevin Durant come here. Yeah. And ask him myself. Or I might DM that nigga. <laughs> because I don't want to be spreading rumors if they lying on my dog. Right. Because right. I fuck with Kevin Durant. But Munchie Williams, man, he should still have a job. He should. He um four seasons with the Suns, 2022 coach of the year. Um, second season with the Suns, went to the finals, lost to uh the Bucks with And do Mike you know Bono the Bucks are talking about getting Munchie Williams? I like that. You like that? I like that. I like that. He should have a job as soon as possible. He's a great coach. They talking about Mark Jackson finna be a coach. <laughs> No, honestly. He's great. Yeah, they, they are talking about that. I, I definitely heard that. He's, yeah. And he's, he got blackballed. Like, he, oh, facts. Yeah, for sure. Facts. He should get I never job. heard him more excited to call that game when LeBron beat uh, the Warriors. Recent, most recently? Hell yeah. He was talking good as hell. On, <laughs> yep, look like, yep, yep. <laughs> he was laughing. Having there goes fun. that man. Yeah. They, they panned the camera over there. He had him a little cup in his hand. He happy. <laughs> who the biggest low light on that team? Um, for the reason they getting out. Who? What the team? Warriors. Uh, Clay and Jordan Poole, for sure. They didn't. They didn't step up at all. Mostly Clay. Clay, you you know, Clay's got this mantra: Game Six, Clay. He um goes crazy, and he just he's shooting horribly. You remember, you saw he looked at the stat sheet. He's like, damn. I he said, I didn't even watch his press conference. He's like, he looked at the stat sheet. He's like, man. Besides prize picks, I had a few other little wages going on. So I ain't watch no damn press conference. I was calling about my goddamn paper. They say it's Tatum the new Kobe. Whew, he got game like him, but. Hey, this this is my only thing. I don't know. We gotta stop diminishing what some players did. Yeah. We we can't be putting people in that Kobe, Jordan, LeBron conversation so early. Thanks. Don't get me wrong, Tatum is is a great player, but I never respect I never respect certain things with certain players. When Tatum sent that text message to Kobe phone and said I won't let you down and he let him down. Don't even post that shit. Yeah. Hey, somebody yeah. said Kobe said stop texting me. <laughs> <laughs> Say Kobe let that shit on red or some shit. Hey, he, this one he should have said Kobe after that 51 points. That's when you you don't show your text message to after. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't show that but, shit before. Like Kobe won a championship his fourth year in the league. Like Kobe's different and he came out of high school. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but Marcel, he did have the most dominant yeah, player in did. the league. He did. We not just gonna talk like Kobe wheeled the team on his own. That's real. Shaq was on that team. He was a, he was in a great team. But you know when I realized Kobe was different? When they was facing the Celtics. The team now. Without Shaq. Without, he without Shaq. He with Paul Gasol. But Kobe was just like, bro, he refused to lose. And that was some of these players that don't give a damn. The game over, they already switching jerseys. Now you got your ass kicked. <laughs> And that's why certain players are going to forever be the low light. I know you didn't play, but Sabonis, you still is a low light, you garbage <laughs> bastard. So, look, we're going to get into it. Oh, speaking of low lights, I can't talk about nobody being a garbage bastard if I don't talk about us. We're going to get into these prize picks of the week. I'm, and when I say we did horrible, nigga, it's one thing to be undefeated. Nigga, we were defeated. No one, no one won. No one won. Now, I was the closest one, and I know that don't mean shit, but I just <laughs> had to throw that out there. I, we were, me and Yvette was the closest one, and Marco. But Anthony Davis got hurt. Bro, he had 18 in the first half. I think he had a total of 22 points. We got him for 24 and a half. We was a shot away. Bro, when I seen him hold his head, I'm watching the TV. I said, no, nah, don't you do that. <laughs> Don't you do that. Somebody told me they saw him in a wheelchair. I damn near cried because I knew he wasn't coming back. He was in concussion protocol. Yeah, it didn't look like a hard Bro, hit that him. was the last on my, on my prize picks money. So we'll get into that later. But we're going to do some prize picks of the week. This week, I hope it's better. Yeah, we, we ain't got too many games to choose from. 
So uh, keep tuning in. And if you took some of our prize picks last week, I'm sorry, nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> shit, we lost too. You acting like I just gave you some shit. We lost with it too. But a good thing, you can always use that code, broken play, and they will match it. So we'll be back with our prize picks of the week, and we got two special guests coming up. So stay tuned. Yeah. And just like that, yeah. we're back. Baby. We're back. Yeah. Prize picks of the week. My favorite segment of the show. Because this is the part that gets you paid. Well, not us quite yet, but shit. Let's run through the standings real quick. We'll start from best to worst. <laughs> Marcel got his first loss last week. Let's clap it up for that. Wow, that's crazy. Give a nigga a L. <laughs> Uh, next is me at two and two, tied with Dom, who is at, uh, also two and two. Dad at a whopping one and three. <laughs> Yvette is zero and two. Mm. The week that she took Thad, she lost, and Thad lost. She followed me last week, which made me lose. So you follow Marcel. <laughs> 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 Greg. He put in his first bet last week. He said some shit we never would have thought. But he started out 0-1. <laughs> just like I thought he would. <laughs> and Marco, what the hell? It say Marco 2-1, and one, but I don't know how to hear. <laughs> this shit wrong. Huh? Marco must wrote this shit himself. So look, I'm going to get straight into it. I ain't even finna, I ain't finna take long. Today is Tuesday. We know how our show come out. You might see this shit Sunday morning. But for the Tuesday <laughs> Tuesday yeah, night Lakers firing. game. Firing shots. For the Tuesday night Lakers game, I got LeBron James with five and a half assists. This is their first game they playing in Denver. LeBron is going to get everybody involved. I want to pop it off first. Dom, I'm going to kick it to you. Man, I was uh was just looking at my phone. I was going mm -hmm. back and forth. On one hand, I wanted to take KCP with nine and a half, but them nine and a half points, they do look. I don't trust it though. I just don't trust it. I'm gonna take. I you know he's from Georgia <clears throat> too. I know, I know, I know. He from Georgia though. He yeah. from Georgia. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna take D'Lo over fourteen and a half. I'm gonna take it. I feel like he's gonna put up a lot of shots. I, I need I need a lot of shots and hopefully he get to the line. So you got him with 14 and a half points. Yeah. So look, this is what we're doing. I got LeBron with the five and a half assists. We don't know how many uh LeBron five and a half, that's a lot. I feel like that's easy. Yeah. That's a game lot. Game one for sure. Game he ain't finna go. And you crazy got D'Angelo Russell, 14 and a half points. Yeah. Over. 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 Okay, bet. All right. Yvette, since you right here, oh, you got to wait on Marcel. You got to wait on Marcel. I think I do have to wait on Marcel. Okay, that's cool. Okay, here. <laughs> Greg, go, Greg, go ahead. Let's go ahead and get Greg in there. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Greg out of the way. Greg going to say some off-the-wall shit. I, really I got Tristan Thompson <laughs> with 19 rebounds. <laughs> what you got, Greg? I'm really rocking with you this week. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> I'm gonna take LeBron and them five and a half assists. All right, that's a good, that's a good beat. That's a lot. All right, Thado. All right, man. I'm gonna go ahead and take AD free throws over. How many free throws? 5.5. 5. I'm a, I'm a, I like that. Yeah, he's gonna get at least six. Cause Jokic is finna be fouling the shit out of him. Yeah. They okay. ain't never dealt with a center like AD in the playoffs yet. So yeah. Especially but, if AD playing like he playing. So that's a great pick. Yeah. All right, Marcel. Should fade that, just go under on that free throws. But uh, I was going to take Russell. Every first game, he's had 19 points in the playoffs. I think that's a great pick, Dom. But I'm going to go Jokic, and I'm going to listen to Nav. Foul trouble. I'm thinking go under on his fantasy points, 61 and a half. 
I love it. I love it. Jokic under fantasy points, 61 and a half. So, look, we're going to put 100. So, you you following? Wait, well, yeah. You following Marcel? Wait, Marco, Marco, who you following? Or you going to do your own pick? Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead, man. I feel like there's a trend. Like, when people put in their bets, like, players always get, like, one point under. Mm -hmm. You know, and everybody's like, oh, it was so close, I was so close. So I kind of want to go with yours, but I just want to go with five. Because you did five and a half. I just want to do five. <laughs> See, this is, why, this is a teaching moment on this show. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> wait, okay, so what's wrong with that? Like, why can't I do, like, because one point under? With prize picks, <clears throat> and of course they 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 are sponsoring the show, so I don't mind explaining. Yeah. So they give know. us the projected stats that we have to choose from, which mm. we, we place the wager. So basically, we have to get six assists to win. If you get five assists, we lose. So they're five and a half assists. We can't pick the number. They give you the projected oh, number. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I should download that. I'm going to download the app. Use the code. Download the app and use the code. That's what it's for. Okay. If it, do, are, if, your boyfriend, is he into sports? Yeah. Is he on prize picks? Yeah. Y'all want to call him? <laughs> Get him on the phone. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Tell him you need a pick, and you've been fucking us up the last two weeks. <laughs> Watch, Yvette, when he feel like, figure out you done downloaded prize pick, Yvette is going to get her ass ate when she get home. <laughs> Men love when they women are cool. He's probably taking a nap. It's three. Yeah. Oh, hey, babe. I got the police left and right in front of me. I ain't going to lie. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. Um, don't look at your phone, but I'm on the show right now. So you're on you're on the show. I have to make my pick because they. I have to make a pick for the next game. Who plays tonight? Uh, the Lakers and Denver. Okay, Lakers and Denver. He's a Lakers fan, so. Okay, what, what pick you gotta make? What's up? You just have to make one for prize on prize picks. picks. On prize picks. Yeah. He said what? He's driving. Oh. Uh huh. He finna give it to the him. Most they gonna, the most they really gonna try to do is go, go outside the perimeter. Cause the Nuggets ain't really got a perimeter like that besides Jamal Murray. You niggas sound like an analysis. Hit or miss ass fucking Aaron Gordon. Aaron, oh. Gordon. Well, Aaron Gordon what? He's a hit or miss ass Aaron Gordon. So put him under for what? Put it under for what, babe? Hello? Uh, let me see. Hold on. But, oh. Okay, look. That's my that's my that's my pick. All right, Anthony Davis under twenty three. Okay, thanks, babe. Bye. So the only thing, another teaching moment with prize picks, you can't use the same player twice. He did Anthony Davis. So we gonna choose Aaron Gordon under because he gave you that one first. You cool with that? Yeah. Yeah, if it. What you got to lose? You all went too. So Aaron Gar points under? You think so? Or you should do I don't I don't know where is that? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, under. 13 and a half. So boom, we locked in. So LeBron Moore, D'Angelo Russell Moore, Anthony Davis Moore, Jokic less, Aaron Gordon less. Oh, we got the Lakers winning for damn show. A hundred to win a thousand. We're going to the club. Broken players in the building. You see the Fiji water. You see the 1942. We got hot wings all in this motherfucker. Spend your money. Get your money. Broken players on the way, bitch. Mm. Oh, shit. We got Jabba Red in the section right next to us. Spending big cash. It's broken plate. And when we get back, we got our guests coming. So, look, if y'all watching this, 
you will be already known what our picks did. So when we come back next week, either we smiling or we trying to figure this shit out again. <laughs> hey, oh, I got a privacy screen. That's my own business where I got that. But the pick is submitted. <laughs> we will be back. <laughs> I don't be wanting everybody to know my pick. That's the only reason. Broken Play is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, what's up, man? This is Nav Green. It's so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. But when we spend all our time giving, it can leave us feeling stressed, thin, and burnt out. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. So it's no excuses. Oh, I can't make it there, old traffic. No, you can do it online and at home, in the comfort of your home. It's easy, a questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. And you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com 85 sports today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P dot com slash 85 sports. No excuses. <laughs> Honor. It's an honor. We got uh, we got we got two special guests in the building. Uh, first and foremost, we got Angel McCartney <laughs> from the Atlanta Dream. Y'all remember? Hey, <laughs> real quick, real quick. I was, you know, like when you watch WNBA. I wasn't a big WNBA fan Ooh. until we no, uh, no. I'm saying until we got Atlanta Dream. That's when you like. Okay. Oh, yeah, we want okay. the Dream to win. Yeah, yeah. Y'all remember you were the number one pick? Hey. <laughs> now you here. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> go from Atlanta Dream. You know, if you ever watch BET, you, you know about Rap City. You know anything to do with BET and freestyling in the basement. You know Big Tigger. But we love Big Tigger in Atlanta because he announces the Hawks game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Big My man. We, I just introduced all that. Tigger, I got to start with you. you. You couldn't have been a Hawks fan growing up. Because you from D.C., right? I was a Dominique fan. You a Dominique Wilkins oh, fan? I mean, Dominique was Dominique no matter where you were in the world. Uh, Dominique, he is the human highlight film. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you oh, so it was like, oh, man. It was, I was a Dominique yeah, was, fan. I mean, I knew I had heard about the Omni before I even came to Atlanta. So, right. I mean, if you was a basketball fan, you had to love yeah, Dominique. Yeah, you like Dominique. Yeah. I mean, he had the one, two greatest, you know, Dunk contest on earth. Did he get cheated at dunk contest? Might a little bit. <laughs> 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 Might a little bit. So yeah, I mean, but then I moved here and you know, I had been the DJ and I did the start liners for the Washington Wizards when I was in DC. Uh -huh. um, so when I came here, one of my one of my checklist items was to be the DJ for the Hawks. Uh, and then I got myself in that building, and then they uh, elevated me after about eight years of being DJ for them. So now I'm the PA announcer. Yeah, for sure. Y'all yeah. clap. Oh, yeah. Check out the Hey, don't be you to do when it be an offensive foul on the other team. And you like, <laughs> that was offensive. <laughs> <laughs> it be like the little stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think, like, so. With you playing for the Atlanta Dream, just not just the games, like the city wise, like do you feel like it's it's big on sports? Cause you know how yeah. like, however they feel about um the WNBA players or whatnot and people watching the game. I feel like the Hawks players probably face that same cause like if they not winning, people walking out or mm -hmm. people just coming to party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's definitely like that because, you know, the fans are so competitive yeah. that they'll leave because they're so mad you want to win. Now, we're not as bad as Philly fans, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I think, <laughs> I think when I was here, the city was just craving a championship so bad. From anybody. You know what I'm saying? From, from anybody. Somebody so we won. finally got that from the Braves and, and, and the uh, soccer yeah. team. So, and the United. They, you know, really don't, they don't feel the void, though. It, they can put a little bit of ease, a little bit. You don't think a little the bit? Braves the Braves help. The Braves help. You think so? They help. 
the a United, little bit. So the United, okay, because I hate to bring it up. There was a game Atlanta should have won. It was a game we was up by a big margin. Please, I'm, please, I'm, I'm not going to be specific. We're, we know what the hell we like, but, I mean, but my point is that we were already celebrating. I was on my way to Magic City. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, wait, I need to go back home. Uh, so the, the United filled the void immediately right after that. And then the Braves yeah. helped fill the void a little bit after that. The Hawks been in the conversation a couple years, which is, you know, whether we were supposed to be in the conversation or right. not, we've been in the conversation. And then UGA just has molly wiped everybody for the last yeah. two years. So and they've been, yeah, they've been I, it's kind of, we, we feel an eye, but there's always more that can and be done. And don't forget, we, we kind of held the city down a little bit. We went to the finals oh, three no. times. Yeah. So, so yeah. I think we don't have it as bad because we're women. They, we get, they take it a little easy on us. But I think the city was proud of it. We at least went to the finals three times. Mm -hmm. And we were a young team that was just hungry. So, you know, we had some good, like you Absolutely. said, UGA and all of that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think what you just bringing that up, I think is, I don't think I think the Falcons. It, it's just gonna take the Falcons. That's a hard one, man. It's like a, man, <laughs> no, like take it that I'm, one. He said you celebrate it. I'm thinking about like yeah, as a as a city. He was on his way to get the lemon pepper wings. He was so on listen, his way. Listen, the city was empty. It looked like it was like walking <laughs> dead. Like no cars on the expressway. It I felt like mean, it, we were supposed to be quarantined and then like it was yeah, nobody man, like that. One of my running jokes is, do you know how much money got messed up that night? Woo! I was supposed to work. For, this is when uh, Michael and uh, Jamel did his and hers. Mm. I was supposed to be the ATL correspondent in the parade for their show. Oh, man. But there wasn't no parade. <laughs> <laughs> and, and currently, I wasn't working for them then, but currently as the official DJ for the Atlanta Falcons as well. We gonna turn up in there this year. Let's go. Come see us. The, uh, the Dirty Birds Nest is a thing. Yep. I don't know if they gonna win the championship though, but oh, yeah. we, we gonna put together a team, bro. But I will say, at least we come there to party at the, oh, the game. Sure. We come it's there to hear team. That's what we really it's come to the game. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Man, we had uh, T.I. here two weeks ago. He said they was talking about it. He said he was supposed to have his own float. Jesus was going to have a float. He was like, I said, man, that parade would have lasted oh about my. three, four years. Damn! <laughs> it was going to be like, that. man, what? Hey, yeah. that's lit. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. But I, I feel like we winning as a city. So yeah, that's, that's, that's enough. Facts. Facts. That's enough. I mean, the traffic tells you that. Oh, man. Everybody moving here. <laughs> but that's another story. What you, uh, did you enjoy the um, women's championship? I did. I felt like I was just telling Tig in the, in the green room mm -hmm. that people were more excited to watch the women Final Four than the men's. Facts. Right? I didn't yeah. even watch the men's. What? Like, I looked, I checked <laughs> the score, but it, man, all the good, I'm not going to say that. I almost messed up. You can say that. All, all the good teams <laughs> were going away. But you kind of good team. They You're got good history. Good team. You can't say you kind of ain't got the history. They, they a good team. When I you say good yeah. team, the team that I had picked on my bracket. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> His bracket was a wrap. <laughs> my bracket was gone the first week. Yeah. I, I mean, I it, think Michigan it, lost mm -hmm. early. Like, you had yeah. them teams like that. Yeah. This, this women's championship did wonders for the women's game. Yeah. Period. Uh, because, I mean, not only did the team that look like us won, you know what I'm saying? And she was popping. <laughs> That's what I like to see. That's what yeah. made, yeah. So and that controversy over this. Come on, we do this all the time. Right. What's the big thing do it? Deal. But that's well, what. Yeah, Caitlyn did it. You know that's But that's did, what yeah. is needed because I bet you that's gonna be the most highest rated game next year. Yeah, they, they used to actually that. encourage us if we got in like fights and them, and they was like, it's kind of okay because it helps the rating go up. So they were like, if you get in a fight. y'all to turn y'all into wrestling? Nah, well, yeah, it was like, but it, they didn't tell us a fight, but if it did happen, it was like, okay, because it helps, the, you know what I'm saying? So We gonna find you, but we not. <laughs> no, nah, they still took the money though. Oh. <laughs> it was like, all right, y'all still find it. Don't find us then if you wanted the ratings to go right, over the right. fight. But yeah, But no, like with that, I feel like it just was a good game and a good rivalry. It was good. Like, so it was like it was, it was just good. good the, Everything about it. Not, not just. It, I won't even put gender on it. Like that was just a good ass game. It was game. just a good like, game. Yeah, like I wanted to see who was gonna win. Yeah. But of course, uh, you know who I wanted to win. <laughs> <laughs> Most viewed game in history uh, for a women's uh, national championship, and it had more views in the NBA All Star games. Well, yeah. Nine point nine million views. How many? Nine point nine million. It peaked at twelve point three yeah. million views. Mm -hmm. And now uh, it was the thing. 
especially because the, the white girl had done this like a, a like a couple games earlier, and everybody right. was like, everybody was like, oh, that's cute. Against Louisville, and it was against right. my team, so yeah, I, you know, matter, I started feeling yeah. yeah. so my angels in the back, like, yeah. You was like, yeah, that's what you I get. I it, but then, I didn't like the fact that they started like, now you call it. Don't make it about women. Don't make it about race. It's not about race. Yeah. This is Let athletics. Let be competitive. But well, here's the thing: when the men do it all the time, it's just not a big deal. Mm-hmm. Why is it when the girls do it? We, you know what I'm saying? That's true. I, I mean, the, the the white I, I, I'll say this: the white girl dropping forty on whoever she dropped forty on mm-hmm. made everybody go so. Wait, what's happening? Right. And then 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 you saw this and you were like, oh, she oh, okay. Right. And we <laughs> think you see one shit. of us on the underneath. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then when Angel, like you know, for her to get to the finals and for Angel to do you know yeah, talk, do the same talk, thing. I was like, that's just how basketball goes. It's just basketball. Mm-hmm. That's just basketball. So. It was interesting. Because South Carolina was like a favorite. Like, they, everybody they was always like, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they were oh, thinking yeah. South Carolina. So when you hear she did that, you're like, hold up, who? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's when she got eyes on her, too. But it's yep. like. And shout out to Leah Boston just got drafted number one pick from oh, South Carolina. Sure, yeah. Yeah, she's good. She's good. Hey, speaking of good, did y'all check out, because uh, I, I see you been, you know, rapping and you know, making your music, you know what I'm saying? What you think <laughs> about Flaw J? Did you I say that right? Yeah, I think Flaw J, first of all, she just got in trouble with something. But that, hey, but yeah, that was a good Something about she said, uh, it's going to blow up like the towers. Oh, yeah, so, she was like, uh, so Ella, she had to apologize for like t- I was like, but I feel like she young and she don't know the significance. <laughs> they young. I get it. How I old do, is she? She about like 19, 20. It's literally three years before she was born. Yeah. Yeah. You still know the history, but I think... You know what I'm saying? Whoever her team is should know. Don't put that in her lyrics. But I like her music. Um, I found out the history. I didn't, I didn't know. I just found out her dad was also a rapper. Yeah, so Camouflage. I, Camouflage R-R-P. was oh, her dad. Wow. Yeah, that's it. So <laughs> her, her real dad. Her real dad. So he got shot in the head holding her as a baby. Oh, wow. So it's like all of his blessings are coming to upon her. So, and you know what I'm saying? She was actually on Jermaine Dupri uh, show when he was looking for teen talent. Oh, really? She was on that back in the day. Uh, oh, I know what mm-hmm. show you're talking about. Lana yeah, was on that show. Lana was on right, that right. show, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I feel like I, I understand with the lyrics and, you know, people be sensitive. But you be hearing rappers say, you know, I'm rocking chains like slaves. I got whip like... <laughs> no, nobody say they don't get mad uh, then. Black yeah. people are the only people who could collectively shut a country down if we all stuck together, but we do not. Facts. Say it. There Facts. are other groups out there, and you know the groups you can't talk about. Mm. You don't say nothing about them folks, but if if we stuck together, would nobody say or do us wrong because we would be together as a unit, but for some reason we can't do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Them other groups, you don't say nothing about the Asians, don't say nothing about the alphabet gang, I call them the yeah, LGBTQI plus, there's a lot of, that's why I call them alphabet gang, and I love y'all. But I, because they keep adding stuff, I don't they know. They keep adding letters and numbers and, yeah, and numerals. You don't be knowing what the, what the um, letters so, stand for. But there's for certain, you know, you can't say things against Jewish people because they all, right. everything will stop. But you can say whatever but, you want to yeah, say about that. Yeah, but if we could somehow if get we together, could stick it, yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't nobody say nothing about us. I mean, we had the greatest spending power on earth. And they, it showed a couple of days when we shut down mm-hmm. and didn't buy. Yeah. That's when show. they started. You remember? It did. This is when I knew it was serious. When they started putting Black Lives Matter all on the uh, man games. Mm. Like you couldn't even run a touchdown in without a balloon flying by <laughs> and say Black Lives Matter. <laughs> After a real week, they got in back good. Uh, mm-hmm. They took that For shit real. right off the game. Yeah, so it's, it's a like big deal. They had them on the helmets and everything. Yeah. Like, you know, and racism, oh, yeah. black Even lives when, matter. Uh, it was the NBA bubble. Like, they could, yeah. you, they could put all that on there. Mm. After they get back cool with you, they're like, all right, take that shit mm-hmm. off. We're good. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. That's, how, that's how it feels, though. Yeah. But with you saying that, Tigger, we got to stick together and all that. What you think about John Morant? <sighs> okay, so yeah. if there are no other issues, he's not... Substance abuse, he's not alcohol abuse. If he's not, if there's not some underlying issue that we're unaware of. You got to say, bro, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> As a grown ass man who has made his fair share of mistakes, I am not perfect. I am not saying that I have made had the best judgment all my life, but none of the things that I did were two months ago. Cost me forty million dollars. And I did it again just to be acting up on the gram. 
so quickly. Even your man was like, what you doing? He tried to put the phone down. He knew what was wrong with it. He just didn't do it quick enough. I don't understand your affinity with guns. Yes, you are legally able to carry a gun in the state that you're residing in if you legally own it, just like here in Georgia. I have mine. You ain't never going to see mine unless there's a problem. I don't understand why you, why you think that is a badge of honor or something that you need to just keep waving around. Real people who, who act up like that don't wave nothing around. If you mm-hmm. see it, there's an issue and somebody's going to get dealt with. So I, I just, if, if there's no other underlying issue, I don't understand, bruh. You didn't grow up that way. You, 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 you're like, that ain't, your, that ain't your life. And most importantly, your employer, damn what the law say where you at, every, I, your employer, the N to the B to the A said, don't do this. And we just talked they to you just, about it. I just talked to you 60 days ago. It was literally 60, yeah. 60 days ago. So if there's not some underlying issue, whether it be mental or substance Is it the abuse, music? I can't. But I don't know. I think that NBA young boy just getting their spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Say this though, Kwame, Kwame Brown oh, said no. one of the best things he could have ever did. said. What he he said? spoke some some gems. What, what he told him? Like just he said, I heard an NBA young boy. Ja is NBA dumb boy. <laughs> I was like, damn. I just thought, listen, if it, if you if music, and I say this for any person out there, has that much control over you, man. That nigga need listen to jazz. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Put some guys. Listen. Put don't need nobody talking on even music. Listen, Gospel on, you know, but, get but your spirit right. I know we don't want to blame his homeboy, but y'all just ride in the car. Why you gotta go live? Oh no. No, I mean, uh, being live is a thing for people in that age group. That's fine. And dance like this, and you know, do you no, know? And it was fine. And keep first. it moving. It was just what people do. Do you think like they didn't talk like? Let me, let me put me again, on the camera. You can't blame the dude on live. He didn't have it out at first. We saw him first. Then he went back to himself. Then he went back and saw the gun. He was like, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> now nah, he looked at him yeah, first, though. Just no, it just happened. I can't blame his friends. He tried to hide it, though. Uh, watch this. He, he looked at the camera. He looked over there before he put the camera on. Look, now, if he meant to show him, he would have left it up. He, t- he turned that camera down so far. Yeah. And what I will say... I don't care what the reason is. There's no, if, if I see you with a camera, I know you on live. We acting up because we on live. Yeah. There is nothing that can force me after I just lost $40 million to pull out a gun and just be like, ooh, not, there's not, there ain't not a thing. But I mean, to East End, I'm not here you know to, I don't want to lump on the dude and jump on him. And Fred, be, go to the gun that? range. Like, like just, yeah. just like. Can we were just talking about sticking together. That's why I was thinking like, well, like, because I want to support him, and I don't know what to say. I can't put that on your whole generation. I can't put that on your whole generation. I, I, again, I think not most, most star athletes, no matter who you are, live a protected, sheltered life. They mm-hmm. really don't have right. the issues. You play AAU or all grow that type up of stuff. Yeah. in the neighborhood or around the drama that there is. Or Next. just they, they so they, they not as experienced in real life. And then if you go from that experience to a college experience where you still you still gonna be protected, and now you all of a sudden here's thirty million dollars be a man. Even though his father is around, like you still there's some lumps you gotta take. Unfortunately, John Moran's lumps is big ass lumps. Big lumps. But let me tell you this, as an athlete, yes, yeah, sometimes we don't learn the, like maybe all the street smarts or the real life stuff, but we are programmed to know you can't say certain things on Twitter. Mm. You gotta watch how you right. carry yourself in public. Mm-hmm. Everybody's watching you. There's certain things you can't do. You can't do this, you can't do that. So we are so disciplined and programmed to be disciplined. Gotta be a practice on time. This is a schedule. We like programmed right. like robots to be. You know what I'm saying? So you know, you can't say he don't know. Yeah, maybe, so I mean, maybe sometimes athletes get to a point where they're sick and tired of being disciplined. You know what I'm saying? But you what can't program? You can't be sick and tired of that money, though. He losing a lot of money. I mean, he, he even said he went to counseling. He, no one knows what kind of counseling he went to. Y'all know he didn't do that now. But I'm saying, you say you went to counseling. That's PR talk. What kind of counseling was it? And they should be fired because it clearly didn't work. Yeah. I just don't understand. He like, money I, back. I just, I can't Listen, comprehend throwing away money like yeah, that. Yeah, that, that was all the PR talk. For the gram. To, you know, the PR talk that they give you to say, tell them you're going to do counseling. Because as, as the end of the day, you know, me being an athlete, I'm taught to read between the lines. 
But regular people, they just believe everything that comes out. Nobody reads between the lines with anything. So anything that comes out, I was like, oh, okay, cool. He's going to count. Says, That's PR talk. What's my boy that own Meta? Uh, Zuckerberg? Get that man $40 million. Because <laughs> both times it was on your platform, and he done made you a conversation for right. the last two months. Just give him forty dollars. You got it. Give him forty dollars. Give him. Give him a spot. Give him a spot. Forty million just. Cause forty million. Forty million just ends hunger. World hunger. Like, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and, I, and he he like he dancing with it. And he, Why can't you dance with your he hands? He has like, seen something or learned somewhere that that was cool. To him, that is a thing to be perceived as that dude. And for some, I don't know why. But somewhere along the way, he picked up that this makes me cool. No. This makes me, ex- I'm accepted being a thug or waving a mm. gun or I don't know where that comes from or how. I, I, somewhere John, what along makes you cool way. is continue to dance with the kids. Yeah, yeah. gritty Do on things for the community. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you yeah. have this gun fetish, go to the range with your, your boys and shoot at the gun range and nobody needs to film it. Nigga, open a gun range. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. Open your own gun Something. range. I, 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 not here to dump on you, and I know your dad. Yeah, he played college. Uh, not, I know your dad. T, listen, I'm not going to point. I just, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. I, I, well, I, I can't comprehend. Once, okay. Because I'm telling you, Taiwan Two is calling. Two months later? <laughs> Taiwan is calling. You saw the White House calling with the players? <laughs> Man, the White House, he started calling with players who still play. He told you feel me? Jay Taiwan Mark? calling. They calling now. Y'all better get together. No, nah, but all honesty, I am, which I, I don't really like. The only thing, I, it's just too soon. Mm-hmm. If it happened like three years later, I'm like, okay, he, he done relapsed. It's so, it's too, that's what makes it dumb. That happened a year later. Yeah, we were like, okay, he, he forgot. That's what makes he it really dumb. The fact it's too Two close. Months. Yeah. That's too soon. That's what make it real, Don, that it's that close in after months, all this talk. Two months, and you learned two weeks ago that it cost you $40 million. It'd be fresh on my mind. And you in therapy and all that, uh, all that talk and all that. Not makes it having happen. $40 million would be fresh on my mind. Mm-hmm. I'd still be mad. I wouldn't even want to play Call of Duty. Like, if I don't want $40 million, I don't want to see no gun, no nothing. But let me tell you, in his mind, $40 million is not a big deal to him. When you're making that much money, to uh, us, it's like, we lost 40 million. Oh, to him, he's like, whatever. Right? I've seen the NBA players, they carry 100,000 just in their backpack, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've seen one of the players, he got mad and spent 200 grand on a private flight by himself because he was mad at the team. They do stuff like that. So 40 million to him is, is but, like, whatever, but still, it's still dumb. But you're risking, he just dropped his own shoe. Yes. The, don't risk the legacy. You dropped your own shoe. Nike has shown people they are willing to walk away from people who don't act right. Well, what if you well, lose your shoe? they consider acting right. What do you... What they do you, did Kyrie dead ass wrong. What if you lose your shoe did? Mm. You just got the job one. Ain't gonna be no job two. And, and, yeah, and don't be trying to knock on Adidas, dog. Okay? Because we full. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm you just playing. I'm just playing. You don't want to cut no. I'm playing, but just John, just think, man. Come on. Think, uh, you, bro, you feel what I'm saying? We love it when our black men make it. We need y'all to make it. Y'all help, you know, our community. Y'all help us prosper because we need to continue to have more black men in that space. But stop. Yeah, you could tell you sincere with it. Like, yeah, yeah I, be, I, stop I really because they already look. It's already hard on y'all. Mm-hmm. The system is hard on y'all. We know that. He's Don't give them ammunition. Immensely talented. He rep- He re- represents and reflects the image of. The hood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The dread, like, yeah. you know, there's a lot of clean cut NBA Y'all people. Dancing, like, he, like he the the they love the dance. They he love his daughter does it. the whole way. Yeah. Like, the way he plays a great, like, he, he plays his... like he outside. So, I mean, there's a lot of great things in your future, bro. You just got to get your, Please, your current together. Together. Who, who's some players y'all like watching? I know, well, I know Trey Young. Mm-hmm. You like watching Trey Young? I like watching Trey and, and DeJounte. Oh, facts. Jante literally can take over a game. At will. Like, I'll steal the ball, go shoot, come back, steal the ball, make the right pass, steal the ball. Like, I, it's, it's amazing to watch him in spurts. A player I do like on the Hawks, they don't talk much about Bogey. I like Bogey. We love Bogey. Bogey. I love Bogey. <laughs> you, you know who I like? I like Collins. Like, people don't realize he is kind of like the bread and butter of the team. You know what I'm saying? He does so, the dirty work that 
What John, he don't get credit about? for. <laughs> what college is he talking about? What college? He went to Wake Forest. So college, John, yeah, so John is John, Col- John Collin, Collin. Oh, <laughs> I ain't messing with you. I'm done with you. John is unfortunately the fourth option offensively, mm-hmm. and he's not in the pick and rolls with Trey and like. He and used I don't to understand be. why. But Clint is. So Clint is the mm-hmm. recipient of lots of lives and things like that. It's not a knock on John. Uh, even uh, another another thing of taking uh, you have to take your own uh, you have to take your own medicine for stuff. So I got popped for that thing, and that immediately tarnished his whole image. Like he was killing him before that, and then when you come back and mm. for whatever reason it don't look the same, people mm. go. Yeah. Uh, then he need to come work out with me one time. I get you right, bro. I mean, <laughs> John's I an immensely right? talented player, but th- there's a perception issue. Right. You gotta and, let that go. And it might be, it might, unfortunately, might be as simple as him being on another squad for a fresh start. Fresh start, yeah. Sometimes that, that works. That, but the right. one thing I love about Kobe is that no matter what he was going through, he would go through some stuff. But when it was time on the court, it was gone. Mm-hmm. This is how you know you're an elite athlete and you're mental. You gotta get your mental right. All that. That's why we love basketball, because it's the best two hours of your life with no problems, no issues, nothing. You ain't gotta worry about nothing but having fun and, and hearing the applause, Therapy. allowing people to applaud you. So you got to get your mind. None of that matters. Get in the court and kill. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who were some of your favorite players watching growing up? I'm going to give you men and women. All right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I just like, I like, <laughs> I like a, a, a Akeem Olajuwon, the footwork. Mm. A lot of players, you don't see what, that amazing yeah. footwork these days. You know what I'm saying? I love watching Sue Bird, uh, Diana Taurasi. I've never seen a white girl so tough. Yeah. Diana is like, she'll blow you over and not care. You know what I'm saying? She'll she, talk to you, too. And talk trash. Talk trash. Um, I love they Candace love Parker. On them. Yeah, Candace Parker is one of my, my big favorites. She 36 right now, 37, still killing. They're still playing. Still playing. So she one of the ones that like, she's like a LeBron. She could last till she folded if she wanted mm-hmm. to. You know what I'm saying? You see her on all the commercials and stuff. She's, she's killing the game. Yeah, and, and, and for the men, of course, um, I like to watch Trey. The home team, um, I'm gonna go with Trey. I think he's our star, he's our superstar. Of course, he's still maturing in some areas, right. uh, leadership wise. Um, but I, I, I like Colin, man. I, I feel like they need to put him in the pick and roll more. Use his athleticism. Because you remember that playoff run? He was unstoppable with that uh, pick and run. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, to me, he should be the second or third option. He, he should be the backup to track. I say third, because Murray, you got to keep Murray. Okay. <laughs> so but let's do, okay. Unfortunate, well, fortunately, unfortunately, DeAndre, when DeAndre on, DeAndre on. He on. Sometimes he's the first him. option. Look, don't leave him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But see, I think it was, they got so many different players. Like, if Collins not getting a, you know, getting the ball, he can't get in the rhythm. Yeah. He can't, you know what I'm saying? So they don't run plays for him. Just to, but that's where, as a leader, as a leader, you know, especially as a point guard, Trey, you know how to get your teammates involved. That's what point guards does. But these days, it's like point guards are, are the number one option now. It's different. Back in the day, point guards were supposed to what? So make take. everybody else the yeah. option. So we know it's, it's a different day, different yeah. game. But still, as a leader, this is where I want trade leadership still skills to grow. You gotta when you see your, your boy lacking, get him involved. All right, this next play for Collins, get him one, boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. Then that's how you start winning championships because you you understand everybody and what they need at that time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, gotcha. That's why they need y- y'all. Come Would you coach? <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't in the coach yet. You feel me? But no, nah, I just you? know the game. Would you coach? Would I? Yeah. I don't got the patience for these kids. <laughs> these kids is, hey. Hey, how she just talking about job no shit? What the fuck are you That's doing? how I be. Tig, the, I don't, the, the kids now is different. I ain't got the patience, man. Like, you sound like us now. <laughs> I ain't got the patience. Y'all heard what Jordan said? It's similar. Jordan was like, to expect someone to be at that level mm-hmm. where I was, he said, it just, it's doing him a disservice because I'm not going to have patience for that. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not right. saying I'm going to join level, but that's just how I think. Yeah. Because I know what I gave to the you game. You know you'll give 100%. Every you know day. Effort. Yeah. I can't t- take you not knowing what, what I'm going to get. Yeah. I need you come every day on 100. That's hey, how we grew up. Of credit. And then the, these kids be so wishy washy. You know, they break a nail, they cry, they get scratched. I, I just can't. Not right now. Maybe if I'm older. That's maybe. great. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They're different. They're birth and that's now. I'm used to banging, yeah. you know? Like, think about it like this. Like, I came in the league. It was a girl named Cheryl Ford. It was Carl mm-hmm. Malone's daughter. Yeah, I'm, okay. Oh, man. You had to go against girls like her who they will bang you down. They didn't care if you got injured. Uh, Lisa Leslie welcomed me to the league as a rookie. I got switched off one. I'm like, I got her. I got her. Bam! Right here I fell. She made a lap and looked down at me like, she's like, welcome to the Nevada, rookie. <laughs> like, like, me, I can't She danced the clip. They got a show. See, yeah, I don't know what I'm close at. <laughs> but see, if I do that to a rookie, they they just, oh, Angel, I don't like Angel. She ain't no good vet. It's just like, yeah. come on, man. Where's the sportsmanship? Like, talking like Where's that? Where's the sportsmanship? Like, no. She's not a good vet. She's, 
That's what you get nowadays. Back then it was like, oh my God, Lisa Leslie just told me. You know what I mean? It's different. Yeah, it used to be different. Different. I mean, both sides. Like, the men's league, clothes lines was acceptable in the playoffs. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> you remember what Jordan used to, you talked about Jordan, you remember what he had to go through? He, oh, man, Bill Lambert was oh, my coach. Man. Bill yeah. Lambert was Detroit. my Dundee coach. Detroit. He was, wasn't he? We got in a scuffle and pride. He didn't care. He embraced it, because that's the area he came from. Yeah. The, them you know Jordan, what I'm the Bulls, Detroit series, the Bulls, Knicks series, <sighs> the Knicks, Miami series was, man. Now. Them things was like, those was real. That was real. Out, that was really like being outside with referees. Like you, somebody was gonna get hurt. Yeah, something was gonna happen. You but, like you knew it was coming. You just didn't yeah. know which player was gonna get hurt. Yeah. My, one of yeah. my favorite clips is Jeff Van Gundy getting dragged. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I, when he was trying to break up that fight. Yeah. He was it on, I'm on to stop it. Hey, what y'all think about what Stephen A. said about Randall from New York? Get rid of him, or should he stay? I. Me, okay. personally. He's like, he's not the answer. But that, well, that kind of harsh to Stephen A, bro. What? Like, Maybe he it, it just needs a stronger you, support and game. Yeah, it depends on what you what you looking for. What you expect from Why him, Why he don't too? play D-Rose? What's up with D-Rose? Like, he not experienced. This D-Rose, bro. Jalen Brunson showed up and was D-Rose. Jalen Brunson was the hell off. He spelled D-Rose. That D -Rose. man got 41 points? Yeah, man. No, no. Jalen Brunson is the new D-Rose. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So it's hard. But yeah. Julius Randle, like, it's certain. Like, technically, you to star that team. You don't get them folks nothing. But he wasn't also, they wasn't also giving them the ball in the end of the game either. Yeah. Shit. Just like he they didn't did in beat. To get the yeah. ball. Just After like, while, just like, like in beat at the end of the game. Oh, yeah. I ain't get the ball. What I'm going to do without the ball? Like, it's kind of, you know what I'm saying? Unless I'm point forward, like, it does, Julius does do that from time to time, mm -hmm. bring the ball, he bring the ball up. But the that's the coach. You get, go get the ball. And then they was going against Jimmy. Jimmy was locked in. Like, I don't know. Oh, you different. get you get a Jimmy that's locked in? <laughs> Come on now. Jimmy put that country music on. <laughs> and he locked. I, I've seen it from I've seen it with my own eyes. Yeah. He locked. <laughs> eyes is different, like. Who you got winning, eh? Denver, man. Because, and I was never like a big Denver, like, but just the way the chemistry, how they pass the ball, y'all feel like chemistry when y'all watch them. Mm -hmm. You see they all patting each other in the back, excited for each other, no selfishness. That's a championship team. You know what I mean? I want to see Bron get one more. <laughs> well, but I'm proud of them. How far you they see come. Bron what? Get one more. You want to see him get one more. I want them to win, though. I want Lakers to win. You don't see it at all? No, sir. You don't see him get paid Denver. Mm -mm. But that's the thing. I want the Lakers to win, but my basketball IQ was like Denver. Mm -hmm. But my heart wants the Lakers. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. If everybody remains at the same level of health, there's no, <laughs> there's no way. I, you think I that the Lakers going to pull it off? No. Yeah. I think, yeah. Not Even when AD healthy. No. Right. No. Right. I agree. Who y'all got with Miami and uh, Boston? Do Miami got a chance? Ooh, who you got, Ted? Miami has a chance. I'm yeah, going to tell you why. They do. Miami has a chance because Jimmy's going to be Jimmy. Uh, Kyle Lowry can come off any night and drop 30. Uh, 30? Kyle Lowry? Yeah. Kyle, 30? He got the spirit. Not 30 now. He did it in the playoffs. He can do that. that Wait, what year was this? I he got to get this up. against Milwaukee. Uh, hey, he can <laughs> got a 30 piece? Like, 30 piece. Look at it. Pull it up. Hey, pull he, it up. Can, he can pull that off if he really wants to. Pull it up. He hit a couple threes, get going. 30 piece. And he got the experience. He got a I chip. I like Bam, though. I like Bam. Bam is a great. Bam. Bam is great. Bam is good. If, if Boston does what they always do, which is make the open shot, no, like, that, it's, it's tough. It's a wrap. The way they make them threes. They got like five people that just lights out from Man, behind art. <laughs> you never know what, you know the. the <laughs> I, who I like on Boston that they don't get enough credit. Well, of course, Jalen Brown. But Marcus Smart. I knew he was going to say that. You know what Marcus Smart. Man, some games he might come out and score 15 in the first quarter. Mm. And don't let his three point and get now, on. Now that done dictated the whole game. Yeah. No, he's definitely their glue. He's their glue. He keeps them together. He, you can, watch he, football he stay hype. Yeah, I watch it all. Who your team in football? I'm, I'm from Baltimore, so you already know. Right? Oh, Lamar, you have Lamar got then I went to Louisville. Where did Lamar go to school? Yeah. Come okay. on. Hey, you, you definitely <laughs> Ravens. I'm finally glad he got his you bag. You Ravens game for life. Oh, yeah. game, game. But yeah. I'm, I'm glad he got his bag because like, he was tripping on my boy for a minute, man. Get he, my boy his bag now. But he deserved it. He yeah. did. Man, damn. He did. I was hoping he would come down here, though. They was talking about, all right, man. all right. Don't see that. Oh, That's man. what I do. Listen. If he would have came down here, oh, my Tim, God. Tim, you would have had to get some hookers in the goddamn. You <laughs> yeah. would have had some hookers in the goddamn. Okay. Oh. Watch this, watch this. Everybody know what these are. Ah. I see what these are. 
You see what these are? I'm done with you. These are the original Michael Vicks. You hear me? If Lamar hard. Jackson would have came to Atlanta, oh my God. Come on, man. There would have been a seat in, in Mercedes Benz Stadium at on. all. Yeah, and Lamar, at like, all. you know what, Lamar, you know how we look at um, John Morant say, like, he, he's with the culture and, like, you know what, yeah. see? That's what Lamar is, but he, no trouble. Lamar, no trouble. Yep, so pay my man. You know yeah, I paid him. Yeah. Yeah, he got paid, paid but before but he gets it was like, no trouble. And every kid see that. They, you see someone like that in the uh, cause you football nah, he, big here yeah, in Georgia right yeah. now. Man, the, you get the some stats, good bets The stats out there. are in on Kyle Lowry. Okay, what we got? Eighteen was his highest scoring outing. What did he score? Thirty? Maybe two thousand and. Nah. This... <laughs> y'all must y'all must like, like, he ever maybe scored. Maybe it was 30. a playing game against y'all the Hawks. Y'all must talk on Kyle like no. that. He dropped, he dropped 30 on somebody because I was watching. But we're not going to include play, playing game. What was the playing okay. game? <laughs> what is that? What you just want to Y'all keep talking. You don't, you don't do stats, right, T? You just do the announcement, right? You don't do stats. Right? I watched it. Nah, not, not, not no count. Maybe, maybe he had like 22 or something. I Keep talking. 2010, 11. What's the highest he had? It had to be like 25 at least. The highest he ever had in the game. Well, yeah, Back that in, uh, and that was in 2016. Not too long ago. I only like eight seven years. years. <laughs> Six, seven, eight years. <laughs> not in Miami. Yeah, like, you know what? 2016, yeah, it's a little while. Yeah. yeah. Man. Hold on. I'm we just glad, we right. glad Ticket don't do stats for the Hawks, man. It was 28. I'm going to tell you what game was it was. What day? I'm, I'm about to say, look, oh. I said... I typed in Kyle Riley highest points 2023 20, 28 popped up, but I watched the game. That's how yeah, I knew it was close to 30. Y'all gotta start doing Kyle like that. You know what I'm saying? He still got a little something, something a in the tank. Yeah. I think they should get. They're gonna get at least two. The Heat. I think coaching's gonna matter. You got. Yeah, you I got just, Missoula I'm never first year. Jimmy Butler out, bro. Yeah, yeah facts. But if you're talking coaches, you gotta go with Spo. Yeah, they got yeah. yeah. Seven. Yeah. Seven undrafted people on their team. Yeah. Seven. And everything flowing like a well oiled machine. Speaking of coaching, what y'all think about Doc Rivers getting fired? Whew. What do I think about the top three coaches that had the most winningest percentages since 2020 getting fired? Monty Williams. Bud, Monty, and Doc. Yep. Out of here. Damn. One of them, mind you, won a championship two years ago. Nah, that was crazy. <laughs> I'm going to say this about that. I could see Bud and Monty in Charlotte. They ain't, Charlotte ain't got nothing to lose. You can get one of them winning coaches. But do up. they want to go there? <laughs> what Charlotte got to lose? But do Bud or Monty want to go to Charlotte? Yeah, try to rebuild. You got a good young team that you can try to you, get to the playoffs. If you go, like, if you go to Charlotte and you turn Charlotte into this year's Sacramento, okay. <laughs> you're gonna need some pieces. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. You still got Lamelo if he's healthy. <laughs> Unfortunately, what's his name? What's it? Uh, Miles Bridges. That fool. <laughs> so, I mean. He wanted to be a rapper, too. So. <laughs> you, he literally wants yeah. to be a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> well, which one? Miles Bridges. Oh, for real? Yeah. Let me, let, let, can we shift to that real quick? Yeah, go The ahead. rapping stuff. So, y'all know I do music, right? Mm hmm So, nobody takes an athlete that does music serious, right? Yeah. Every, every athlete want to be an artist. Ooh. Every artist want to... Be an athlete, but there are some athletes that really like Dane. Is Dane, one, not Dane, correct? Dane, correct? Facts. Uh, Shaq. Platinum Facts. selling artist Shaq. Facts. Now AI is AI on the flop or the? AI could rap. Don't get me wrong. He wasn't the greatest, but he was. He definitely. He, he wasn't shaky. Rest in peace to Kobe. He's on the flop side, but rest in peace to my dude. His his <laughs> single did French not. French bars. Yeah, Italian French. bars. Yeah. Excuse me. Going crazy. Who else did it? Who else did music? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, damn. I can't remember dude's name. Lou Will. Lou Will. Lou Will I'm not. The, he's not on the flop side to me. Lou Will. Yeah. His stuff was pretty good. Uh, yeah. There's it, a. It's not a lot of them. What's the football player that do music? Hey, he, oh, yeah, Mark, Mark, right. Right. And Mon is on the other yeah. side. He, he, he he's correct. Some got bars. What's the football player? Which football player? That do the music. Which one? Where's head down? The braids. Not a football player. He's retired now. Y'all know what I'm talking about. A.B.? Antonio Brown? <laughs> oh, yeah. Put, put that shit on. <laughs> nah, he had a hit. Don't sleep wait, on that shit. Antonio Brown had a song? Hey, Jay, you wait. never played that shit. He performed at Rolling Loud. Excuse me. He had a what? 
Hey, technically, it was, wait, hey, wait, hey, it was a hit. It was a hit. It was a hit. I ain't even question. What makes Time it a hit? <laughs> I need, I need to hear that. He you know what the band's doing? No play that shit. You know what I mean? Nah. Rolling loud, he performed it. Play it. Hey, we talking about Antonio Brown. So you never heard this song? Nah. Y'all was playing. Y'all playing with me. So it was a hit. It's not a hit. Jiggy should never. Okay. It was. What's the football player do me? He's big. He's big. He's a What's lineman? his name? I mean, like a lineman or? Yeah. Big? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about when y'all see his football face. Football player. Look at uh, football players are big in music. Y'all know him. Football player. Dark skin guy. Stop. Get to the hook, man. I ain't never heard this part. <laughs> you have heard that. You never heard that beat, dude? I ain't heard I'm it. I'm gonna blame it, that but... on your generation too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but that's, that's not... what you gonna blame, huh? <laughs> but hey, that, that don't sound bad though. You think that's the problem though? Yes. Melvin Ingram. What? What part? Like, problem. You know what I'm saying? Because when I first did music, everybody was like, "Stay in your lane." You're a basketball player. What are you doing? Boom. Right. Well, guess what? I just got my first placement on NBA 2K. Pow, 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 pow. You know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah, like, pow, yeah. oh, shit. Wait, you on 2K? Too full? I am. I'm on 2K, too full. The song called Legend. Your favorite song? I'm on 2K, too full, Legend. Who are you? <laughs> so it's yeah. like, it's like, damn, can we try something different? I was saying, can, can I what? get the game early? Yeah. I think it's uh, it's wrong. To, I mean, she said yeah, and then, then looked away. I'm just like, can I get the game pay, early? It's wrong to pay anybody in the box, one, especially 20, 20. when people are multi talented. Okay, okay, okay. So I mean, it's it's hard to say. It, what happens is people get used to you in whatever box you in. Box. So they want to keep you in that box. Right. But That's what they see you It don't as. work for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and in examples like you, just getting placed in 2K24 and like we named Dame and there's a uh, there's a bunch of artists who are quality. They might not get the respect or the or the the um, notice, notice that they supposed to, but I mean, it doesn't mean that they're not talented. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. if you have the wherewithal, you got the guts to go out there and step outside your box, I applaud you. Mm. Can we just clap on that? Like, that's just like... That's Tigger, just... you, uh, Le LeBron came to uh, the basement when... Facts. <laughs> what? <laughs> You, you never was... saw that episode? Because he was talking about he would have retired if they didn't give Kevin Garnett the uh, MVP that year. Who are some players Look, like that you were like that you met that you were like damn? Because you met LeBron early. I met LeBron like his rookie year. Yeah. Mm. So that was um, I was actually at. They used to do the before it was a big deal. I was at the NBA store in New York City when he got his rookie of the year and now they got the award. Mm -hmm. They had like this uh, thing there, so I was there for that too. Um, I've met. I mean, sh I mean. Me and AI, you know, AI is AI. Right. Um, but for me, you know, the, I easily the greatest person I've ever had time to actually sit and talk to was MJ. Wow. I mean, I did a song. So when the Air Jordan 17s came out, uh, I was already like a lightweight spokesperson, you know, tastemaker for Jordan Brand because of Rap City. Mm -hmm. So they was like, we had this idea. If you remember, the 17s came in a yeah, suitcase. Box, right. Yeah. So yeah. in the suitcase was the CD-ROM. Right. Mm. And on the CD-ROM is a song that was mm. produced by Mike Phillips and Tony Touch, and I'm rhyming on it wow. about the shoe. Oh. I made a whole song about the Air Jordan 17. Yeah. What's that song for me? It's, it's, it's a thing. I mean, What's the name of the song? I think it's called I Can Fly. Yeah, find that for me, y'all. Uh, but you could go, I, I mean, I have it in my phone because I keep stuff like yeah, that's that. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, as, as you should, because that's a classic. But to have like, a song for the shoot. So right after it, like I wrote it, and then there were some things that Mike didn't like. Mm. I had to rewrite. Change, change, switch it. Mm. So uh, that means he was, really, I called, he was very, very I called precise. out some people because yeah. it was, you know, it was fun. And he was yeah. like, nah, I don't do that, my folks. You know? oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Mike is very precise in um, how he wants things done. But then I remember like that summer after the shoe dropped, so it was like February around All Star, mm -hmm. he had his uh, poker tournament in Bahamas. Mm hmm. I still have not yet, Mike. I have not yet <laughs> met Mike. And it's a crowd of people, they playing inside Atlantis. And I poke my head like through the crowd and Mike's playing at the table. And Mike goes, Ted, come in. He said, your name? He knew exactly who it was. That, that's how, yeah, yeah, shit fell off the wall. <laughs> hey, who's oh, that? Oh, Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I love Barry Sanders. <laughs> 
But I was literally. That's crazy. You know, like, like sometimes you just go. This one ain't a head nod. He said Ted. You go, like, he was he like Ted. I was like, and so I'm walking. Like, yeah, Mike. Mike called me. Got played out, you know. Yeah. And I what walked up, over there, and I stood behind him. I dapped him up. He was talking about the song, and then he was playing poker, and he was like, "I catch up with you later." And I was like, "Bit." Wow. I think I remember. Hold on. And it's a story. It makes. Watch this. Six rings, three gold medals, four MVPs. Now, not many can be. This needs to go on NBA 2K. With the planes from Midway at Kennedy, back in the league. I love your rap voice. The streaming number's gonna go up on that. Oh, yeah. I wish I would get paid for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all don't stream. You need to do something else like that. I was excited about that. I've done a couple, a couple things in my life, sports-wise and music-wise, that I'm extremely proud of. T, you know I That's rap dope. some of our favorite rappers in the basement, low-key. It has happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it has happened. Uh, I mean, I, between that, I did a thing, a special thing with Busta on his back on my BS album. I had an idea, and I texted him one time. I was like, yo, let's do a song where I'm interviewing you, asking the questions rhyming, and you rhyme the answers. Jeez. And he was like, bet. <laughs> so I was like, I didn't hear from him for like two months. I'm sleep one night. He hits me. He's like, yo, Tig, remember that song? I'm like, Buster, what are you talking about? It's like two months later. He's like, yo, I'm going to send you a beat. I want you to write all the questions. Send me the track. I'm going to write the answers. We're going to collapse. So he sends me a beat from Dr. Dre. I was like, what? I don't, you want me to rhyme over this? <laughs> so I, I wrote all, I wrote this whole thing asking, like really from a journalistic standpoint, asking about all this. His BS, because I was back on my BS. Mm -hmm. I even wrote a thing where these ladies called in into like into the show. We shot a video for it. It's called um, "If You Don't Know Now You Know." That's I was real to this day. I, I'm really proud of that because I have yet to see anybody else execute it. it and it was your idea. Like it you was came my over idea. Man, I'm up. loving that. Um, so that like on the music side, besides Rap City, was definitely something I was super proud of. Um, second on the sports side of thing, like at this moment right now, and it took somebody to mention it to me. And I think it was Jay-Z. Remember when Jay came to the Hawks game? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Jay, I was like, oh, he was like, oh, I love this for you. This is great. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, thanks, Jay. And he was like, you do know there's only like 30 of you. Really only 30, however many teams in the league. I think it's 30. Yeah, it's 30. Yeah, 30 well, there's only one PA announcer per team. So there's only 30 NBA public address announcers. Right. There's only eight of us that are black. Mm. And I, it didn't dawn on me I until Hope said it. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, yeah, that's why he got that mind. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think like, of it like that. That's what's up. That's me. And then last year we had the honor to, to play our first two preseason games in Abu Dhabi. Right. And it was the first two professional basketball games in Abu Dhabi. And because the Hawks game was home first, they brought our entire staff. So I was the first, I was the first person to public address announce an NBA game in Abu Dhabi. The legend! I was just like, bro, I like, I like taking little notes like that, because uh, it's not something you write yeah. around with a flag, but you, you like, you, you stand and move like a marathon, but then you gonna <laughs> sit back and like somebody gonna like, you gonna be like, damn, I done did something. No, I've been though. calling you legend first. I've been this calling legend, legend since yeah, I know her. Hey. You know who the legend is. Hey, this nah. man got Son with Joy and, and going to poker, Joy calling his name. Jay-Z know him. Jay-Z talk. Come on, man. I still called you legend first. <laughs> <laughs> I've been calling her legend big, since bro. I know what, Angel. I'm just, a legend. Yeah. But well, she who, made the song legend. Who you want to collaborate with now that you're in the music? Mm -hmm. In the music? Um, I want to collab with Lauren Hill. I just feel like she's so, so dope and genius with it. She can get Thanks. on anything and just kill it. It don't matter what genre, like... She just so so fly with it though. Well, we know you got the money to book her. <laughs> you know who I see a song with you with? Uh. Ari Lennox. Who? Ari Lennox. She dope as well. Oh, she's dope. I love. Ari. I see you doing a song with Ari Lennox or SZA. Ooh. SZA. SZA's dope. You might need the executive producer. I mean, Jay. she she got my number. Y'all hear that? Oh my God! Oh my God! Look at all these blessings, legend. Yeah. She's a legend. 
She's a legend. Every time you see him looking at a legend. <laughs> legend. I've been going on legend since I know her, yo. You, you was rapping before college and all that? I started probably like uh, my rookie year in the league. Oh, for real? Yeah, it just, it, I've been doing it down line. It just became an outlet for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now, recently, it's really starting to take off and get some buzz. You know what I mean? Well deserved, though. I appreciate that. Boss, 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 boss. You know what I mean? Hey, I got a question for both of y'all, but starting with Angel. You saw what Angela Reese said about her making more money than some of the players in WNBA. Yeah. How do you feel about that take and, like, where that's going to take college players? Yeah, well, obviously, you know, NIL didn't always exist, so players couldn't say that. But now you got players making millions of dollars in college, right? So they feel like, well, why am I rushing to go to a league where I'm not going to make that much? She has a point, but on the other end, that, that needs to put pressure on the WBA to start raising the salaries for the girls. You know what I mean? Because you can't tell me a Diana Taurasi, a Sue Bird, or like, a, you know, my brand is worth less than a mil with what we've done in the league and how we play and, and, and how popular we are. You get what I'm saying? But yet, our salaries don't depict none of that. So mm -hmm. um, it's definitely something that needs to change. And I'll offer something on that, but <clears throat> the hidden blessing in all of that is mm -hmm. when she does make it to the league, so you're bringing that corporate money with her. Yeah. So hopefully what should happen is all and that money space. should come with. Yeah. Yes. As they start in the college, they should bring it with it and the attention to the to the WNBA, and hopefully it levels up everybody else. That That is my like wish. That. That's that what should happen. My um, question for Angel kind of piggybacks off of that. Can you um, talk about the disparity between the NBA and WNBA, not just with money, but like operations, like facilities, travel, like... <laughs> hotels, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all one thing. I'm going to break it down to y'all. So this is what hurts uh, women's basketball than any other sport. When you watch women's tennis, men's tennis, you know the men hit the ball harder, but you really don't see the difference. In soccer, the men kick it harder, but you really don't see the difference, right? The men may swim faster, but you really don't see the difference. But when you watch LeBron James jump and you watch one of us jump, mm -hmm. you see this big difference, this significant difference mm -hmm. than any other sport. And so that comparison makes it like, whoa, they really can't do what they can do. Then, like, then like how I explain with other sports. So that hurts us. But the great thing is, with less promotion, we don't have nearly as much as promotion as the men, but look where we are. So imagine if we started getting the same marketing and promotion. It will work. People, when people meet me, they want to come to a game because they know who they're coming to watch. Nobody would go to an NBA game if they didn't know who they were watching. You guys, has anybody in here met LeBron besides T? Right, but you feel like you know him, right? Even though you've never met him, you feel like you know him. You know his story, you know his background. People don't know us. So, you know, it, that hurts our fan base. They want to know who they're coming to watch. And as far as the facilities and everything, yeah, we want to charter, of course, and um, have better facilities, but that stuff is growing. You know, it is getting better. And plus, we use a lot of the NBA facilities. Anyway, which are top of line. And to be fair, WNBA hasn't Vegas. been around as long as the NBA is right. too, so it's like... Yes, and they say at 25 years, the NBA, the WNBA is more farther along than the NBA at 25 years. Really? I can so believe that, it. Yeah. That new Las Vegas Aces facility. And they got a new facility. The Aces facility is like top of the line. They never have to worry about using nobody else's facility. So hopefully more yeah. owners can build women their own facilities. That's That'll be dope. That. Yeah. I'm going to ask you this. What's the most exciting game you ever either been to or watched? Man, one of the most exciting games, I would say, like, could it be one that I played in? Yeah, shit, if that's the one. Man, at, at Louisville, we went, we went in the Final Four playing uh -huh. against um, Oklahoma, and they had the big Paris twin girl during the time. She had, like, a whole bunch of double-doubles in a row. She still holds the record. And nobody thought we would win, and literally, we hit the, I hit the game with a shot. They had a chance to come back and hit the three to tie. And they miss, and I, all you hear was just all the fans rushing down to the floor, like you know how they crowd and all of that, and just mm -hmm. that was, was just amazing for me to experience that, to and be like in you it, were a part of it, yeah, and to, and to watch it, to be in it. So that was a big moment. Yeah, I got a question for Tig. Mm -hmm. like, with you announcing the games, are you like near the near the floor, like? I'm at the scorer's table where the players check in, like where they be sitting over there waiting to get in the game. Yeah. I'm right there, yeah, where the LeBron thing happens, all of that. Um, so, That's what I was going to ask you about, mm. with that whole situation with LeBron and that white girl. Was you there to hear? What was I was, on? so I wasn't PA announcing yet. I was DJing it. But I believe I'm, she might have, might, might be back in the building now. <laughs> 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 maybe or maybe not, but... I, I, when I was with DC, uh, when I was with the Wizards, I remember 
Fans say some wild stuff to, to the players. And I remember LeBron, there's a white guy in D.C. He was a, a season ticket holder. He used to talk reckless to everybody. Mm -hmm. And I remember he said something about LeBron's mom. We were like baseline. Down by, and I remember LeBron, the ball, somehow the ball stopped. And he literally stopped, turned around, walked to the baseline and was like, you know the only thing that the, the this line, this imaginary line is the only reason I'm not coming over there and beating your ass. Ooh. You know you wouldn't say that to me and put like it was it was this is when like early before they really started throwing people out. Cause you forget he's six, eight, two, four. Like you can't do shit with this man. But he nah. he made a really it was it was a it, I don't even want to say what the guy said, because it's disrespectful. Yeah, but right. He said it about LeBron's mom. Was he white too? He was white. And LeBron, I think he started to go back up the court, took two steps and turned right back around. And I was like, rep roll. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But um, so I've seen and heard lots of player people say stuff, and players now are, are are more apt to you know if you go too far they're more apt to point you out and try to get you put out, because it, it's not I mean it's one thing to be a fan and you know like I right, you know you can say you whack you can say you can't play, you start talking about my family my kids my wife you know, yeah. you're doing too much bro. Yeah. So I, I respect uh, I respect all the you know it's it's the, but there's some there's some uh, one of my favorite things sitting at the scorers table is you get to hear a lot of conversations and see stuff like either between coaches and refs players and players you hear people talking shit to each other that you wouldn't normally hear on the TV that stuff is fun for me I'm like oh no he didn't like so like stuff like that is fun yeah who's the biggest uh, shit talker since you've been with the Hawks that you've seen in the court <laughs> who just be popping off like crazy. Gotta be Draymond. <laughs> we only get the, the the Golden State like once a year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Patrick <laughs> Beverly talks a lot. Facts. I can see that. Patrick, man, Patrick Beverly talks a lot. I mean, I see, uh, you know, Tatum quietly. <laughs> Not, I mean, but it's, it's like when he, I'm like, ah, like, you know, like yeah, this yeah, yeah. like that's him. Like, um, there's a lot of people who kind of like, like people that make faces and stuff. And then there are people who like, it's fun because I know a lot of people and like during the game, like they'll come over and look at me stupid and like, like, and I'm like, yo man, stop playing. I was like, like, it's so, it's, it's, I, Patrick Beverly is far and apart way up there. Um, that I can really pinpoint, but I, there's a lot of players that are confident in their abilities and if it usually starts with somebody else saying something stupid to them, and then they're like, oh, really? <laughs> I like when Trey Young be talking. I like when he get to talking and shimmying in, doing. They hey, talk I, his talk. Yeah, Trey Young gonna talk Trey, too. Trey Young talk that. Let's talk. The world does not like Trey Young for some reason. He is yeah. he is under uh, appreciated. Uh, the fact that he was third in, well, let me get this right, third in assists. And top 15 in scoring and didn't make, I mean, who averages 26 and 10 and don't make all NBA? That's kind of not realistic, but I mean, it honestly, Trey Young has a chip on his shoulder the size of Mount Everest and stuff like this keeps pushing him. So when you say he can't do it, he go, all right, <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Chicken, what made you want to? Well, not I, I won't say make the switch, but when did you see like I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna do this like because I know you were you, you still on radio to mm -hmm. this day, like you know what I'm saying you was on BET, but to go to make that transition and start like first of all when do you sleep? Because <laughs> you are uh, very carefully. You know, six o'clock in the morning you gotta get there by four thirty. Four o'clock in the yeah, morning damn. I'm there at five fifteen. The um, games might go to ten o'clock. A day on day on game days is definitely a nap. It's a super yeah. nap in the you middle. You might stop by Magic City, grab you something to eat. Uh, and there ain't no Magic City on when it, that, that, during the week. Oh, not <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no lemon pepper during the week. All right. Um, but uh, I, I when, again, I, the first opportunity I had was in DC with the Wizards. They mm -hmm. let me DJ. I was excited. They had never had a. a they had one before me, I think. And I was like, I'm gonna turn this building upside down, and right. that was what I did. And it was a article, I'll never forget this, uh, I think it was in Ring Magazine and Kobe was on the cover. And in the article, Kobe was talking about 
the the building in in in, in DC. Mm. He gave me such a big shout out. He was like, take a hat us up in there, like ah. ah, ah. No, and I right. was like, <laughs> I went to my Kobe I went to my boss. He was like, you see this? Oh, oh, he's he's a legend. Legend. Um, so it's big. once I got kind of got the hang of, in DC, and then when I moved to Atlanta in 2013. Like, it was one of my checklist items. I need to DJ for the Hawks. Mm. Uh, and they let me in the next season. I tell people I got traded from the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I was, as the... I had literally done five with the Wizards, and this was going to be my... This I did eight. Wow. With the Hawks. And I was kind of thinking about not DJing anymore, because I was like, all right, 12, 13. Mm. It's kind of run its course. Right. And then they were like, hey... Let me ask you, would you be interested in? And I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So I became like the backup first. You know, they had to make sure I could do it, do it. Right, right, right. And then, you know, like at the end of one season, they were like, hey, well, you know, we think we might want you to do this next season. And I was like, well, let's roll. Because, mm-hmm. uh, A, it gave me another it gave me another way to express myself, another platform. It's, mm-hmm. it's a lot more visible. It's a lot more audible. The DJ, you playing music most of the time, right. they, even though they let me talk. Like, they know that big ticket voice if you had a hot game. Listen, I just be wanting and to make, it, make fun. it fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. Thank you. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's the only difference when people say about, like, coming to, like, you know, Atlanta mm-hmm. type. Of, it's just, it's just a different feel. It's a different vibe. Mm-hmm. Like, anytime the, the Falcons on break, that music dropping, we ain't, it ain't no... Them old songs. No, that nobody's you're doing the. Uh, yeah, what's this thing yeah, called? Yeah, the, uh, none of that. Nobody's you doing some Migos no. and some swag surfing. Yes, well, ain't nobody swag surfing nowhere else. So really quick, let me send a shout out to my entire Hawks family and staff who enabled me as a DJ and definitely enabled me as a PA announcer. And also shout out to my Falcon staff because last year we were the uh, number one rated stadium for music. Mm. And we were, I think, top three or four in customer, uh, like, fan appreciation. Like, they came to the game and enjoyed themselves in the league. And that is up. This is my sec- this, that was my second season. So the entire game ops team at the Hawks and the Falcons, we on our shit. <laughs> Can, can I just drop the mic for him? Yeah. <laughs> I, listen, man, I'm here for the fun. We should see this live, like a broken play trip. You know, Tigger invite us out so we can see you work live. You know what I'm saying? We should hey, do look, that. There you go. That's for free. So, yeah. The Hawks is... Let, wait, let me get it. First. Let me think which is easier. One is harder. The NBA is harder than the NFL. For real? Yeah, the NBA got a lot of rules, bro. Yeah, in a front of my space. A lot of rules. I can get y'all in Mercedes Benz easy than I can get y'all in State Farm. I did not. <laughs> you see, he in Atlanta. But I got it framed at the crib. <laughs> that part. He in Atlanta. He's like, oh, hey, I was so proud of myself. Kobe said, I was jamming. <laughs> What's one of the biggest like uh, accolades, like somebody, you know, giving you your props? Legend. Um, I would just say uh, being, being a gold medalist. That's mm-hmm. probably one of the oh, biggest yeah, accolades. Thanks. Just to have a gold medal on your neck representing like your country. I was just saying, he's trying to tattoo. My yellow <laughs> fading a little bit, but we got dark and the yellow up. Got but, it on there. But no, that's I'm saying, you know, like, um, how Tig was saying, like, what, you know, Kobe saying that. Who oh, like in that way. Because yeah. uh, I know probably, to you, like, you know what I'm saying. Probably uh, Don Staley mm. saying, the she's coach. big, yeah, giving me my props and saying how, how amazing of a player I am. Yeah. So that's, that's big. Coming but from not when I called you, Les? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, she's she's and she's big. Try to throw the oop, I I'm thought dead. it was <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, man, I appreciate y'all coming through broken play, kicking it with us, man. Yeah, Thanks, I, man. I hope y'all had fun, man. Hey, uh, we got two legends. We got two legends in the building. <laughs> one A, one B. Nah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna He's classify all that. I'll leave that to y'all. But no, nah, let them know where they can find your music, all that, Angel. Absolutely, my music <clears throat> is on all platforms. Um, you can check me on the IG at McCautry, my last name, to check out anything you need to know. Thanks. Bars. Uh, please follow me at Big Tigger Show. Do me the wonderful service of going to BigTiggerFoundation.org. I'm doing a charity bike ride that Angel just said she's going to be in Sunday, June 4th. Uh, the whole goal is to ride through this West Side Park in Atlanta and give 100 kids free bikes. 
Uh, that's, after that, all of it is just periphery. But it'll be a health festival, live DJ, music, free food from Slutty Vegan and Dave's Cheesesteaks. But it's a whole thing. Big Tickets Beltline Bike Fest presented by Aetna Better Health in Georgia. It's one thing to yeah, come to the city, truck, he right. give it back to the city. Okay, oh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Sandra, you gonna come around and win a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> you <really> is, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate y'all coming through, man. Y'all make sure y'all follow and support them as well, man. This has been another episode of Broken Plays. Yeah.